Rompox D1, the proven pavement fixing mortar for medium traffic loads, lightly water permeable for joints from 3 mm wide to component epoxy resin, water emulsifiable, self-compacting. For the frost resistant, de-icing, salt resistant, weed free, abrasion resistant, street sweeping machine resistant, quick, low cost, and permanent joint fixing of almost all natural and concrete paving stones, slabs, and clinker surfaces. Working at subsoil temperatures from 0 Celsius, joint width minimum 3 mm, joint depth minimum 30 mm. Pour the filler components 25 kilo bag into the mixing tub, concrete mixer, gravity mixer, or mortar tub and start the mixing process. Whilst mixing, slowly add the separately packaged resin hardener component. Two plastic bottles with red and black caps stuck to each other, completely into the mixture. After mixing for 3 minutes, add approximately 4 liters of water and continue mixing well for at least 3 minutes. Total mixing time, at least 6 minutes. The pavement fixing mortar is now ready for use. The paved surface, which is to have the joints fixed, is pre-wet with water. Apply the mixed pavement fixing mortar to the pre-dampened paved surface. Work the pavement fixing mortar carefully into the joints with a rubber slider squeegee. After approximately 10 to 15 minutes, the pavement fixing mortar will have the same moisture content as the ground and the access mortar of the surface of the stones can be swept off carefully with a broom course. Immediately upon completion, carefully do a final sweeping of the paved surface using a soft broom. Also, especially for slab surfaces with joint width minimum 3 mm, joint depth minimum 30 mm. The slab surfaces, which is to have the joints fixed, is pre-wet with water. Apply the mixed pavement fixing mortar to the pre damped slab surface. Work the pavement fixing mortar carefully into the joints with a rubber slider squeegee. After approximately 10 to 15 minutes, the pavement fixing mortar will have the same moisture content as the ground and the access mortar of the slab surface can be swept off with a broom course. Immediately upon completion, carefully do a final sweeping of the slab surface using a soft broom. During the initial period, a very thin film of epoxy resin remains on the stone surface and intensifies the color of the stone and protects it from dirt. This film, however, disappears from the surface in open weather and through abrasion in the coming months. The following points pertain to the temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and 65% relative humidity. Low temperatures increase. High temperatures decrease the hardening time. Accessible after at least 12 hours. Complete surface accessibility after 6 days. Basically, the strength of the fixed joints needs to be checked before the paved surface is reopened to traffic. The work tools, mixers, rubber sliders, squeegees, and brooms should be kept clean throughout the application time, using water and especially after use. It is recommended having a mortar tub filled with water on the work site in which the tools can be left immersed also during breaks. Hardened material should be removed from the tools with Romex Special Cleaner Rompox Power Clean. Keep the freshly mortared surface free of rain for at least 12 hours. Do not lay the protective covering directly onto the paved surface. Air must be able to circulate. Or use the special Romex paved surface protective mat. It can be laid directly onto the surface. 